Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dholakia, is going to explain you electric flux in this session. So let us try to understand first of all what is electric flux and then by few cases I will explain you what is the meaning of electric flux. So see electric flux is amount of electric field lines passing through any closed surface. So let me write this definition first. Electric flux that is electric field lines passing through any enclosed or any surface. So we will see that by few cases so it will be more clear. So let me write this definition first. So see electric flux that is electric field lines passing through any surface. So first I'll give you one case of uniform electric field for flat surface. And then we will see how to calculate electric flux based on that. So see if electric field lines that is happening like this. So this is electric field that one can see and this is what uniform electric field. So this is electric field. Now if I have now if I have any surface. So let me place surface over here. So this is surface which we have right. So for this surface electric flux that is amount of electric field which is passing through this surface. So this is what surface which we have and electric flux is amount of electric field passing through this surface. Now if you see the direction of this surface then the direction of this surface will be perpendicular to the surface. So if you observe direction of this surface then direction of the surface so that will be in this direction and see this is what flat surface which we have right and this is what the case which we have it for uniform electric field. So how to calculate electric flux over here. So see electric flux that is <coughs> electric field into surface area and here there will be dot multiplication of electric field and this surface area. So electric flux over here that will be and if you observe this dot multiplication so that explains you cos component of it. So electric field into surface area into cos theta. Now you see for this particular case for this particular case angle in between electric field and surface area that is zero. So here for this particular case theta is equals to zero. So flux that will be electric field into surface area cos zero that is one. Unit of electric flux that is Weber or one can say voltmeter. So unit of electric flux meter. So unit of electric flux that is Weber or one can say volt into meter. So this is what the case which I have explained it for uniform electric field and flat surface. Now what if you have non-uniform electric field and uh, surface which is not flat. So let us have one case and then I will explain you how to calculate electric flux for that. So now I will make a diagram of electric field which is non-uniform electric field. So you can see electric field that is non-uniform right now. And for this electric field we have a surface for this electric field we have a surface that is even not flat. So this is how surface is there right. So how to calculate electric flux for this. So for this we need to consider small differential area. Let us have small differential area that is this which is ds and direction of this small differential area that will be this right. So for this case to have a calculation of electric flux all we need to do is we need to do dot multiplication of surface and electric field and for this small differential surface if I say 
small flux flux will be let us say d sign so that will be e dot ds and for total electric flux we need to have surface integration of electric So for total electric flux, we need to have surface integration of electric field over here. So this is what electric flux where we need to have dot multiplication of electric field with surface will result into electric flux and its unit is Weber or voltmeter. Now let us have a few cases. So it will give you a clear idea about how to have a calculation of electric flux. So for first case, for first case, I'll consider electric field, you can see as per this. So this is electric field that one can see. And here we have a surface which is happening like this. Now, if you observe the direction of surface, so that will be perpendicular to the surface. So here for this case, for here, for this case, electric flux sign that will be E dot S. So that is E into surface area S into cos theta. And if you observe angle between electric field and surface area, so that is zero. So here theta that is equals to zero that is angle in between electric field and surface area. So we can say flux over here that is E into S where here for first case theta is equals to zero. Now let us have second case. So now see in second case I am drawing electric field first. So this is electric field. Now here if I consider surface area that is parallel to electric field. So that is happening like this. So over here in second case if you observe the direction of this surface so that is in this direction. So angle in between surface and electric field that theta that is 90 degree over here. So second case that is for theta is equals to 90 degree. Now see for this case, if I calculate electric flux, then that is E dot S and that is E S into cos theta where theta is 90 cos 90 is zero. So flux passing through this surface that will be zero. So as if electric field and surface that is aligned like this where angle in between area and electric field is 90 degree in that case flux passing through that surface will be zero. So what it explains is as if electric field lines are not passing through surface in that case you will be finding flux passing through that surface will be zero. Now see let us have one more case so it will be giving you clear idea. So let us have case three. Now see in case 3 again I am considering electric field lines so which is happening like this. And if I have surface which is placed like this right and always direction of surface that will be perpendicular to the surface. So direction of surface that is this. This is what surface which we have. So if you observe the angle in between surface and electric field, so that is theta. So in this case, electric flux that is E dot S that is E S cos theta. So you will be observing as you change angle and as if you increase this angle theta from 0 to 90, this flux that will decrease. So 
at theta is equals to 0 flux is maximum that is e into s as at theta is equals to 90 degree that flux is 0 and at some angle flux is e s cos theta so one can say as if you change angle of surface electric flux will decrease from 0 to 90 degree so this is all about electric flux i hope that you have understood this so these are the three cases which explains you how electric flux is there so see basically as if surface and electric field that is not uniform in that case we need to have integration so that will be surface integration of electric field that is flux and unit of flux that is Weber or one can say volt per meter so electric flux that is EDS or one can say integration EDS for uniform electric field and flat surface we can directly say like it is e dot ds and based on angle in between area and electric field we can calculate electric flux i hope that you have understood this session please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos which will solve all those queries which is required to be solved over here on my channel thank you so much for watching this video